looking at, um, you know, definition of love, you know, people's like, oh, but I love them, I love them, I love them. And I'm like, what is love? Like, define love, because you've got completely different versions of love out here. I define love as, you know, wanting the best for another. You love them by wanting the best for them, so I want the best for everybody. Um, not the best as in the best mansion, you know, the best as in their, their happiness and fulfillment and free to be who they want to be and free to be confident in themselves and happy, free to be true to who they are, not suppressed and, and forced and controlled or anything like that. So my definition of love is wanting the best for another. My definition of love for another is wanting the best for them. So when I love the nephews, I just want the best for them. When I'm in that mode, it is like a completely different world than the one we flip between. So there's like two worlds that we keep flipping in between. The one where we love people, uh, we trust people, and we want the best for them. And then we flip between the other world, which is we don't love ourselves and therefore we don't care about others and we feel, you know, separated, fearful, alone, abandoned, uh, not worthy, not valuable, not living our truth, feeling forced to go to work, feeling forced to live a life that we don't want to live. Like it's just a, it's such a flip between two worlds. I oh, know there's, you know, like a gazillion different ways to look at this world, but there's these main two ways to look at the world and I feel like the conscious living uh, followers, the personal development people, whatever, they're trying to raise the consciousness where, where people are aware that the way that they feel about themselves and the way that they feel about others and what wanting the best for others and all that kind of stuff is and can have a ripple effect across all our lives.